Thank you for joining Post Druina for edge retention. Today we're talking about the Baladio Papagayo lockback. Uh, we recently filmed our first impression. What was that? Close to a month ago now, right? About, yeah. So we've all been carrying these around, using them for about a month. Um, first off the specs, it's four inches closed. It's got a three inch satin finish, 420 stainless blade, TPE handle. They are made in China. And suggested retail price is eight dollars, or seven ninety five, eight dollars. They are a lockback. I've got the red one. Tyler's got turquoise. I had a fuchsia one, but uh, currently it is misplaced, and I like it well enough for being an eight dollar knife that if it is permanently misplaced and not temporarily misplaced, I will be replacing it indefinitely. This is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. So now we've all been testing them out. You've got our first impressions and then, you know, we're going to be doing our couple of uh, cuts today and we're going to go ahead and start off with cord. Everybody's favorite. Standard 550 paracord. We'll have Tyler cut first. I have been using mine pretty heavily, so it's highly likely the blade has been a bit dull as well. Well, again, it's it's for an eight dollar knife. It's four twenty stainless. Yeah, that's not going to keep an edge forever. No. Um, I will say, mine that cut really really well. Yeah, um, I think, and plus I think on my first one, I just kind of accidentally slid it a bit too much. I, just saw the steam. Mind if I actually try yours, Tyler? Right at. Thank you, sir. Fine, right, don't try mine. <laughs> That is a little tough. It's been yeah, worked with a lot. Yeah, no, I, I've been. Uh, I think it's. I, I assume that mm, probably about the same as mine is wherever it is. Yeah. I mean, overall, that's not going to be hard to sharpen, though. No. Again, okay, it the four twenty stainless. It's a softer steel. It's not going to rust. Um, but without using mine cut, I'd still get that a solid ninety, ninety two. Um, not. Not as easy as a razor, but really nothing to complain yeah. about. It's pretty good. How do you feel on yours after, you know, yours being a little duller at this point? With mine being a bit duller, I'll probably give it about 80, 85 ish because it still wasn't too terrible. I mean, it's still a rather clean cut, so. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with it. I, I'd say around 80. Okay, so. Average, about 87, I would say, through yeah. the three of us. And then, um, we already have the, the standalone test, which was done with this one. That'll be in the playlist, um, and you can see the rating with it with a fresh, uh, fresh back edge. edge. So, see that. Get our uh, pencil test, and we aren't doing a uh, food test today, so we're just going to be doing the pencils. We'll have Tyler go ahead and start. Too much pressure. <laughs> well then. But also, I'm, to be fair, I might have put a bit of force into it because the blade has definitely been dulled quite a bit. So, <laughs> in its current state, it's not the greatest for pencil sharpening. Fair enough. But that's again just I've been using it heavily. Which I mean, it happens with everything. Even yeah. though even the great steel does dull over time. The nice thing about your softer steel, even though it does dull faster, a couple of pulls through a pull through sharpener couple of swipes on a whetstone, it's gonna be back to normal really quick. So. I actually have a little work sharp knife sharpener that I use for my daily use pocket knives and uh, it was really easy to get this thing pretty sharp too. Yeah, that was easy. Nothing to complain about. This one. I will say the difference between ours Every cut mine has made is on film. It should be linked in the playlist, uh, either down below or up at the top right of the video at the end. 
Tyler's everything uh, his has done has been yeah life as it should be you know just kind of whatever it comes out so. yeah, I say, I'm not wearing a GoPro on my head you know the entire time I'm working so but just yeah. but it's been used pretty heavily I and mean, I work in a shop so you can imagine the things it gets used for now have you sharpened that over the last month at all no this is just so that's, that's after a month of use and it's yeah. still usable it's not awful yeah there you go was actually pretty easy with his. Um, yeah, yours is a little bit. Got yeah, mine's, a little, mine's got a little wear and tear on it. Mine's been but, well loved. But, so. you know, if, if a knife has wear and tear on it, that just means that it's been getting used. Mm -hmm. So, how would you rate yours on the sharpening? Knowing that it's dull, I mean, in its current state. Yeah, I mean, knowing that it's dull, I mean, and to be fair, that was also slightly my fault applying too much pressure, breaking the lead there, but I'd give it probably a good 75. I'd still give mine probably a solid 90 for that. Yeah, I'd give it upper 90s for the sharper blade and the uh, less well-used blade. Yeah, so I mean, overall, a couple of pulls to the pull through. His will be back to the same state. Yeah, for sure. For $8? <laughs> yeah, I'm um, blown away by this knife. I'll just be entirely honest. Uh, honestly, I, I, I'm going to say that you can't beat it. That's, yeah. that's an $8 that's, yeah, well spent. Never spin. in my life would I expect an $8 knife to be anywhere near as good as this thing is. Yeah. Yeah, I would say Bladio has done amazing on the Papagayo yeah. folder. These are $8, and I would I would rate it similarly to like a $40 to $50 knife. For sure. Yeah, I, I would definitely say that that's uh, comparable yeah. to some of the lockbacks I have from my grandfather's and the stuff. So, yeah, yeah. great yeah, if, little knife. If knowing what I know about this now, even if it was a thirty dollar knife, I would not be mad whatsoever. Not at all. So, I mean, our our rating for the Palladio Papagayo, as far as the different colors, they've all been consistent. We didn't have any defects across the three that we ordered. No. Um. Highly, highly recommend, um, for especially sure. for the price. I mean, mm -hmm. you, you just can't. You, you can't expect you know a two three hundred dollar knife. Of course, quality, not. but oh yeah, for eight dollars, this is a steal. It's insane, definitely a good steal. Um, I'd highly recommend it. Same. If you have any tests you'd like us to see performed with this, let us know. We'll get it filmed. We'll get it uploaded. Thank you for watching. See you next time.